and we love because God loves us. In 1 John 4, 7 and 8, it says love comes from God for God is love. It doesn't say God has love, it says God is love. And the reason why God wants you to love, as I said, is because he is love. It is his character, it is his essence. He wants us to be like him. And God is the source of all love. If God wasn't loving, there would be no love in the universe. All love comes from God. And the reason you have the ability to love is because you were made in the image of God. That's what makes you different from rocks and plants and animals. Animals do not love. They don't have the brain capacity for it. An ant, a bird, a cow cannot love. They have affections. They have, uh, they have uh, attractions. They have instincts. But animals do not love. They do not sacrificially love the way human beings have the ability to love. God gave you that ability. You were made in his image so you could do the two things you were put on earth to do. Learn to love God and learn to love other people. Life is all about love. Now the Bible says in 1 John 4, 19, we love because God first loved us. Circle God first. God is always first in everything. He takes the initiative. The only reason you can love God or love anybody else is because God first loved you. And he showed that love by sending Jesus Christ to earth to die for you. He showed that love by creating you. And he showed that love by everything you have in life is a gift of God's love. We love because God first loved us. You know, sometimes I'll talk to believers in churches who are kind of down on themselves. And they always feel like they're not measuring up. And they're not pleasing God. And that God is always angry with them. And they, they always carry a load of guilt around the whole time. And I've heard many people say this. You know, my problem, Rick, is I just don't love God enough. And I said, no, no, that's not it. Your problem is not that you don't love God enough. Your problem is you don't realize how much he loves you. Because if you realized how much God loves you, extravagant, irresistible, unconditional love, you would have to love him back. You could not not love God if you understood how much he loves you. You would automatically be attracted to it. And the reason you don't love God, you don't care about God, you don't serve God, is you don't understand or feel how much he loves you. I don't want to just talk about love, read about love, talk, discuss about love. I want you to experience the love of God. Because the day that you finally, fully understand how God loves you completely, unconditionally, you can't make God stop loving you. You can try, but you will fail. When you feel that unconditional love, you know what? You're just going to start cutting people a lot of slack. You're not going to be as angry as you've been. You're not going to, you're going to be more patient. You're going to be more forgiving. You're going to be more merciful. You're going to let other people have grace. The reason why you see people who are judgmental, who are sarcastic, who are mean-spirited. The reason why you see people who are angry, self-righteous, always putting other people down, is because they're putting themselves down. They don't feel good about themselves. They don't feel loved. They don't feel forgiven. They don't feel grace. They feel guilty. They feel bad about themselves. And if I feel bad about myself, I certainly don't want you feeling good about you. So during 40 days of love, we're gonna have to do some healing in your heart. Because you have been hurt in life. You've been hurt by parents, or you've been hurt by peers on school, or you've been hurt by uh, professionals, or you've been hurt by uh, partners. Maybe some of you have been abused, or you've been misused, or you've been rejected, or you've been abandoned, or you've been betrayed, and you've got some scabs on your heart. And we're going to have to do some gentle surgery on your heart. Because you cannot give to others what you have not received yourself. 
The rest of today's message is coming your way in just a few moments. But right now, if you'd like to connect with Rick on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or Instagram, go to PastorRick.com. That's PastorRick.com. And click on his social media links. And while you're there, be sure to sign up for his free Daily Hope email devotional. And take a look at all the helpful resources. Again, that's PastorRick.com. Jesus said that of all the commandments in the Bible, two are most important. Love God with all your heart, and love your neighbor as yourself. When you do this, you end up obeying the rest of God's commandments and all the relationships in your life, even the difficult.